everyone, my name is Elle and welcome to my channel. Today I have a really quick update for my Pan Matte palette with the Burgundy Times 9 palette from MAC. So, I've made some decent progress with this guy. Not spectacular progress because to be completely honest, I've been really taken with the Kat Von D Mi Vita Loca Remix palette which is in my project Pan Porn, and I've just been obsessed with putting color all over my face. And I haven't reached for this palette over this last month as much as I would have liked to. So I did still use it, just not every day, because there was quite a few days when I was using solely the Mi Vita Loca palette. So anyway, if you compare what my palette looked like last month to this month, you see a little bit of difference. Mostly it's just expanding the pan on the shadows that I had already hit pan on. I had previously hit pan on four shades and I still only have pan on those four shades. I did use the other shades like a little bit, but mostly it was those four. So I'll just go over how I use those particular four shades pretty quickly. It's really not very different than my last update. My last update I went into really great detail on the looks I was creating and I showed some reference pictures and really I haven't taken a whole lot of pictures because the looks have been exactly the same with the addition of some color which I will talk about. Honestly in a lot of my recent videos I've been using a combination of like this palette or the Mi Vita Loca palette. I've been using a lot of my panning items in videos because I've actually really fallen in love with them. Like I watched a lot of people's Pan That Palette updates from this month and people are just so over their palettes at this point. They're just, you know, they've hit that sort of four month slump and they're just ready for something else. And I'm like, I just love this palette even more. I love it more. Maybe it's because I'm tackling things a little bit differently this year and I do have other shadows that I'm working on. So it's not like I'm bored, but I just, I really rediscovered my love for MAC eyeshadows. Anyway, you probably really didn't care about any of that. So Honey Lust, the peachy gold eyeshadow, I really don't want to finish that. I I found myself using it less and less because I love it more and more. Is that weird? Has anybody else discovered that with any products that they love or is that just me? That if you start to really love something you don't want to use it as much? Now I do have a full size Honey Lust in one of my other MAC palettes. It's not one that I purchased um, individually. It came in one of the large pre-made palettes. I have one of the Times 15 palettes and I believe it's the warm neutral palette Honey Lust is in there. So I do have another Honey Lust. I don't know why I'm really so afraid of finishing it because I have a second one, but there's just something about that shadow that I've really fallen for. It's such a good gold shade that takes color so well because when I've been wearing it recently because I just decided within the last like three days that I'm going to finish that shadow and I'm going to finish it soon um, I usually put it all over my lid and then a color in the um, inner corner don't know why I couldn't remember inner corner but that's what I would do and I've gotten actually quite a few compliments on it I will also use honey lust on the lid with a pink shadow in the crease because then you get sort of like a rose gold effect it's really cool but honey lust in general just takes to shadows colorful shadows really well it's really versatile that way I've paired it with green with blue with pink um, with purple. It's just such a really great gold eyeshadow and I find it really flattering with my blue eye color. Um, with Poppy Seed, the satin shade, um, that shade I've been using as a transition shade and another, it's another shadow that I just found myself reaching for less because I liked it so much. It's probably pretty dupable. I haven't tried looking into dupes right now um, just because I'm just, I'm focusing on this first. I don't want to pl plan too far ahead. It really is going to be pretty dupable. I'm, I'm positive it's going to be um, just because the nature of the shadow itself. Now maybe the exact finish will be a little bit difficult because it's satin and not matte and I've been really loving satins in my crease a lot more than mattes because I've just been into more shimmery things and now a satin is not a shimmer but a satin has a little bit more life and a little bit more dimension than a matte which can sometimes just fall pretty flat. So poppy seed is just a really good transition shade. I pair it with a lot of different things. I have a lot of poppy seed on right now. With this look, um, I'm wearing a few shades from this palette. 
it was a very sort of simple look. Um, I just, this is what happens when I listen to Britney Spears and I've watched a lot of Nikki tutorials previously in the day. This is just what happens. Um, but I did all the shadows I used besides a white shadow was from this palette. I used poppy seed, I used embark and sketch mixed together on the lower lash line and I also have a little bit of ho as well in my crease. Like I use poppy seed and ho and they're both satins. Anyway, that's what I have going on. I've been using poppy seed a lot more recently than I was because I was just getting into that fear stage of finishing things that I like. Something I gotta get over. That's one of the good things about me doing painting is that sometimes I just hold on to things instead of finishing them and it's so silly. It's just really, it really is silly. I don't need to hold on to things and never use them because I like them. I like them so that's why I should be using them. Um, the other shadow that I've hit pan on and expanded the pan on is Antiqued. Um, this one is really close to being finished as well. I think I have roughly the same amount of Antiqued left as I do Honey Lust. And my goal for May is going to be to finish Honey Lust and Antiqued, which I think is incredibly doable. I use both of them wet with Fix Plus as well, and that makes the shadow go a lot faster. But I like the way that they look better when they are applied wet. You can check out my last update or my intro video if you want to see swatches and you'll see what I mean. Um, but Antiqued I usually use for like a really messy quick smoky eye. Um, I've also been pairing Antiqued a little bit with some colorful shadows. Um, Antiqued looks kind of cool with blue. Blue has been my obsession on the inner corner. I've just been crazy with blue. So that messy smoky eye with like the pop of blue in the inner corner that's been one of my go-to's. I've actually done that quite a few times. Um, so that's, it's, it's not very exciting. I mean, this is the same kind of looks that I was talking about in my last update, just with a little extra color. Um, and then the fourth shadow that I'd hit pan on and expanded a little bit is Star Violet. And Star Violet, I've done, I usually use the same way as Antiqued, that messy smoky eye. And then I will also pair it with color. It looks really cool with sort of a turquoise, also with blue. I've been pairing these, a lot of these shades with blue, um, but turquoise looks really cool. I did that look pretty recently where I wore Star Violet on the lid and a turquoise on the lower lash line. And I got quite a few compliments on that as well. So for the other shades, uh, the ones that I haven't hit pan on yet, just been using them sort of here and there. So the two matte shades, Quarry and Embark, just been using a little bit. I still don't really like Quarry that much with some of the looks I've been creating. I guess it's because it's much more of a cooler toned shadow. Um, I've been doing a lot more warmer looks that I just haven't been reaching for Quarry that much, but I can definitely see it being something that I am going to use and love once I finish some of these other shades. I'll be able to look at this palette in a new way. Um, Embark is a really great brown shadow that's really good for, for deepening looks. Um, I have not used <laughs> hashtag noir that much yet again as I said in my last update I'm not really focusing on it because I have all these other things that I love so I want to focus on the things that I love and the things that I'm enjoying before I try and force myself to be creative with something that I'm not so sure of right now you know I would rather have everything else finished and just have hashtag noir and be able to incorporate so many other things with it than not enjoying using it like I am not enjoying it, using it right now. And then Ho, which is a satin, I've definitely enjoyed using a lot more. Again, it's more of a crease shade, a transition shade for me. So I haven't been using it that much. A lot of people really love Ho and they told me that in my comments. So thank you guys for all of your suggestions and for telling me all the ways that you guys use that shadow because that really helped inspire me a lot. Anyway, the last shadow sketch I've used pretty sparingly over the last month. It's a beautiful shade. Uh, I just haven't been drawn to it. It's just not something that I've been reaching for this month, but I think I've been doing okay. Um, it is April. I'm kind of disappointed I haven't finished a shadow yet, but at the same time, I'm doing pretty well. And I really do think by next month, by, by May, I will have two shadows finished. And if I have two shadows finished out of nine, that's pretty good. 
if I can hit pan on another shadow, I'll be pretty happy. I think, I still think I can finish this palette by the end of the year. I've just been feeling really happy with my makeup over the last couple of months and I just want to keep that going. Just the fact that I'm so inspired and still so mo motivated by this palette, by all the challenges I have going on, that's a really good thing and I just want to keep that going and just you know, keep riding that positivity train. That's what I want to keep doing. So anyway, that's all for my update for my Pan That palette. Let me know if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns. I will get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I really hope I will see you in my next video. Bye.